In brightest day, in darkest night, no Buka Jean shall escape our sight. For those who worship Corduroy's might, beware our power, Jean Lantern's light. Yo, welcome to another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast. You know what I mean? We here with my son Colton. Oh, this is your boy Colton, aka Pizza Parker, aka <laughs> Holocaust Bane. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, you know, we got some gas floating in here going crazy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, and you know what it is? Your boy Dennis, a.k.a. Old Dirty Dennis, a.k.a. Fly Clops, you know what I mean? A.k.a. Professor D, to me, my triple X men, mm -hmm. a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, 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 old Man Dennis, you know what I mean? Um, we here, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, welcome to another issue of the Patreon um, if you guys are hearing this and you're not a Patreon subscriber, it's because, you know, niggas got that good graces. We mad excited about uh, X-Men coming up. Mm -hmm. So basically what we're trying to do is you're getting a free episode. You know what I mean? This is for everybody to hear or see. Um, it's going to be part of our X-Men series because, you know, X-Men 97 is coming up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We got mad excited and was like, yo, fuck it. We're going to run. Gonna yeah, we're going to do a, we going to run back. The old school X Men animated series, you know what I mean? Do some reviews on it, like we've been doing with uh, Harry Potter and like Twilight and all that, and you know, lead up to the the fucking premiere. This is, niggas is, is uh you know excited and shit. Working. So you know what I mean? If you want future episodes on this, you gonna have to sign up to the Patreon. But you know, this first mm -hmm. joint, we got you. This you know what I mean? This 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 is this is on consignment, nigga. Like this also, was the you know what I mean? Just for extra, you know, just for extra cops. I got shape up today. I got my hair done. Ooh, if you yeah, want to yeah. see what it's I look, look like. It's, hey, look. It's looking silky. I'm beautiful. It's, right it's looking silky. I'm just saying. You know what maximum mean? beautiful potential. Just listen. If you're trying to see it. You know what I mean? And not only hear it. Oh. Woo. Woo. You see it? You see it? Come on. Where's the <laughs> ring at? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline, nigga. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's the Gene Lantern rings. Become part of the Gene Lanterns, man. Facts. Join our Patreon. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, X-Men 97 is coming up. Uh, niggas is definitely excited. You know, Disney dropped a bag on this shit. Mm -hmm. They got the the OG uh, intro sound. You know what I mean? They got, like, voice actors coming back. They didn't fully do it what if, which I'm happy about. They didn't. They didn't. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, I have my theories about how all this ends, but we could talk about that later on. Right. Um uh, so yeah, you know, we started watching like the episodes or whatever. So we both took some notes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we we're not gonna do like a super detail, uh, you know, review of every episode. It's a lot of fucking X Men episodes, y'all. I got, episodes, I got but some, we got, we got. You know what I mean? I got some funny <laughs> shit. The first, <laughs> the first thing I just need to get out the way. What's up? Is Jubilee saying? I'm just a normal kid with the with the most non normal kid. Drip. Even I just, though I, I just want y'all like I'm not though. gonna show y'all all my notes, but my first line I want him to <laughs> read the first line. Acknowledge Jubilee's drip, right? <laughs> we she didn't plan that. <laughs> the most like outstanding drip I've Listen, ever seen from like a yo, character. Like her her drip was very outstanding. She should she should have known she was a mutant just from her drip alone, son. Honestly, she should have known she wasn't a normal child. Yo. From just having such a great drip. Yo. Like, she had the full coat on. It wasn't even cold out. She had a full coat with a long, a short sleeve long coat, nigga. Just put that together real quick, son. In the yellow, she was going hard. With the shades, nigga, at night. Also, Jubilee was one of the greatest jokes of all time. I have the joke. <laughs> we go, yeah, we go. <laughs> we go get Jubilee. <laughs> Playing arcade game, powers goes off, destroys machine. Store clerk, do you know how much that costs? She pulled the shades she down. She goes, nigga. yeah, pull shades down. A quarter. A quarter. <laughs> Cook this nigga. Then he immediately goes to racism. Oh my <laughs> like, god. He immediately goes to species. He goes, Yo. hey, you're one of them, ain't you? <laughs> how about, did he just call her the uh, N word? Did he just use a hard ER just now on mutant? Yo, all right. So I want to go back for a second because uh, what he's talking about happens just a little bit later. But I wanted to uh, cover some real some shit first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sentinels, my nigga. Like, are Yo. these niggas light on their feet? Because like 
This nigga walked <laughs> into her neighborhood and nobody <laughs> broke through her wall, nigga. And nobody, nobody her knew. Her parents were downstairs and they didn't hear anything. The mom came upstairs like, yo, Jubilee, are you asleep? Jubilee, and then saw the hole in the wall. Missing room. Nigga, do you room. not? did you not hear this senator this walking down the block? Him. <laughs> how is that possible, nigga? Like, how why don't they feed all these niggas, son? Yeah, that's some special it's gonna 90s get, technology. It's going to get nigga. even funnier. It's going to get crazier. It's going to get funnier saying, with the sense I just wanted to put that out there yeah. to start. Like, these niggas is Apparently mad like Apparently, their feet. stealth mode, like, as Next gigantic level. fucking transformer type robots is crazy. Next level, my nigga. I also want to give uh, uh, X Men and uh, just Fox props because I do think it's always funny when, like, now when people talk about, oh, you know, woke this, woke that. The X-Men was like 1991, That's and the first mother, mutant mother. that we saw was an Asian American mutant, you know what I mean? With white parents <laughs> being being hated by white people. I just want to put that out there. This Let's was 1991, and we was kids. <laughs> they was telling you since back then, nigga. Like that was not some new shit. Um, like he said, like the 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 stunt in she the destroys, fucking arcade the was kit, hard, away. nigga. Like and also another thing about the Sentinels. What's up? Them niggas is slow as fuck. Bro. They pull up late every fucking time like so the far. <laughs> niggas pulled up right after, like, damn, it was a mutant here, wasn't it? Shit. Damn. God damn it. Missed it. Um, yeah, like he said, uh, the racism, I always thought that was mad funny because after she cooked them, it was like, yo, where else can he take this? He can literally only take this to the He to says the only racial time. <laughs> he says racial time. <laughs> it was where what else can he say? Like there was nothing else. Now. We get to one of my favorite parts. We meet the baddies. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this is 1991, nigga. You a kid. You seen a... Ba- nigga, you in a mall? If you want to sell malls in 2024, nigga, tell me there's like a fucking storm and rogue just shopping Crazy. for shirts and shit, nigga. The real bad I am going. I don't care what... <laughs> I'm going, I'm nigga. at that mall. It's lit. <laughs> I'm at that mall. <laughs> we at King's Plaza, nigga. It's lit. <laughs> rogue is there, nigga. <laughs> also, my son, Gambit, first nigga with a shicey trench Yo. coat and fingerless gloves to get hoes. Like, he I just, just want to talk about Gambit for a second. You know Gambit is a real-ass nigga slash whore. When you can try to bag chicks buying cards, nigga. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Anytime, anywhere, my nigga. Like, cards, bro. Nigga Playing cards. was legit risen up Yo. shorty with a half shiesty on with his face <laughs> showing. That's the, the whole point of the shiesty is not to know who I am. He's just like, yo, fuck it. Nigga. Fingerless gloves. Going crazy. And a trench coat. Like, a real, like the real Night Deviant. <laughs> Going nuts, Going nigga. Crazy. I respect real, it, though. Real, I mean, real, Listen, real niggas do real things. I got, I got to respect it. And now I'm watching the, the episode, and at this point, I do like, uh, uh, um, it was kind of like empathy. Because I'm thinking like, all right, I like how they're showing us the mutants. But yo, if you... Are a sentinel, and this is your first day on the job, nigga. What a bad first day, yeah, bro! A you went to go day. pick up this. I know you're a kid. robot. Yo, you went to pick up this teenager, nigga. And you bumped into Storm, Rogue, and Gambit, nigga. What a bad fucking first day, bro! <laughs> you are in the trenches, my nigga. Horrible. <laughs> but and what's the odds these niggas all shopping at the mall? Bro? He pops out. <laughs> they all pop out with their powers. Yep, go crazy. Jubilee is like. She's obviously mad dashing for her life. And then we get to one of my, oh my favorite God. parts. I'm about to be a hater, nigga. With, I'm... with Dennis. All right, Dennis, let me yeah. let me just let me just set this just scene just, for the I'm them. already boiling, nigga. Well, and then I'll let you go crazy. Because I watched this live with Dennis. And we seen basically all X-Men except like Cyclops and Wolverine. Gosh. Right? So Jubilee runs outside into a parking lot. The parking lot. Is like empty as shit. Why is he so sweet? Uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> that parking lot's empty as fuck. There's like no lights. There's only cars. The first few cars are like red, oh uh, purple, God, gray, <laughs> white. Yeah, it's tight. And then it the cars start being like yellow, blue, Yo, I was yellow, so mad. blue, I'm sorry. yellow, blue. So now it's like. This is the X Men color scheme. Oh my god! And then there's okay. one light post. There's one light post. So fucking. And bad. she's about to run to where that light post is, and the Sentinels getting close to her. <laughs> <laughs> so and tight, then under man. that light post, who is it? 
and Cyclops. <laughs> and he's like, get down! <laughs> he shoots like a laser at the Sentinel. And the Sentinel back like, ah! And then he... And then he's like, are you okay? <laughs> I, so let me like, tell y'all how sourceless this nigga is. Let's just go into a minute and just talk about how sourceless this nigga is. I just told y'all that the cool niggas is in the mall in regular clothes buying shit. Why is this nigga outside his X-Men outfit in the, in the fucking parking lot? Like a lame nigga. Yo, <laughs> leave him alone, man. What a lame, son. Yo, and then what made the shit worse? When the, ro- when the Sentinel shot the beam, he was like, oh, beams, huh? Try one from a pro. How long you practice that line, nigga? You was in a parking lot, like a lane practicing it. You ain't he was also pros. under the only street light, like under the only. They made his light. little. They made his visor glisten when he said his name. Cyclops. He was like, Cyclops. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, it was. Uh, he corny, was crazy. son. Oh my, he's so fucking corny. Son. He was under the street light, saw oh his visor was shining when he said Cyclops. <laughs> And that's pretty hard. I don't know. I kind of fuck with it. I, he like, corny, so he's, he's corny hard. in the cartoon. They don't really do him. him no favors. No but favors in like, the cartoon. I understood, oh my man. Because sometimes, God. like, you got to get what that a pit <laughs> off under the streetlight, nigga. We at the mall, nigga. Yo, go buy a matter. jacket, I don't nigga. want a jacket, fuck? nigga. I need to show the X-Men fit so they know who I am. Oh, my gosh. Yo. Nigga so sourceless. Anyway, so, yeah, she bumps into him. He uh he helps her out by shooting the the sentinel or whatever. Uh these yo literally all I can think about the whole time when he was doing that whole beam shit is just like yo one that line is mad corny nigga. You sound like you oh like you're not even like a beam. You don't even got like a beam certificate, my nigga. Like <laughs> you're not even like a Devry like nah, are you like a champion. Op- are you an optic got- beam like Devry graduate, nigga? Nah, like why are you telling? She is running. Beam about- she don't care, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> she don't care. He's still a beam champ. You gotta let somebody know. Oh my god, son! Like yo, like that shit, yo, that shit. Dr- I was just like, yo, you sound like a cop, nigga. Like you are literally. This is how cops yo, bro. act in the subway, nigga. Like they. You gotta let him get shit off somehow. <laughs> he don't buy drip, so he gotta get it off another way, bro. Estas policia, <laughs> <laughs> señor. <laughs> Esta policia. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stand this nigga, son. <laughs> anyway, so she passes out. Cyclops does his corny shit. They w- she wakes oh up. God. I'm not gonna let her. She's, I'm on his neck. All right, all nigga, continue, <laughs> nigga. Tell the story without being biased, nigga. So go ahead. Oh shit. So anyway, she wakes up in the X Mansion or whatever. She's like, man, confused. Like, where the fuck am I? She manages to use her power. She breaks uh breaks out of like the room that she was in. She bumps into Beast. But my favorite part is after she sees Beast, because he's not even really paying attention to her. This nigga's doing that nigga's his... on the ceiling. Yeah, he's on his, like, on the ceiling. Yeah, doing... What's up with this nigga, bro? Like, I get it that he's a beast. But the he 90s just, is so 90s. I just feel like he's showing off. Cause who Yo, can dad, see you? You don't son? have to you can do that. Up. You can stand you regular, can stand dude. Up, my nigga. The nigga just <laughs> on the ceiling using his beast feet to do beast <laughs> shit to be like, oh yeah, I'm beast, by the yeah, way. Yeah, like and just doing Obviously, like the motherfucker. Like, Yo, Imagine no a motherfucker see, standing man. on the ceiling with blue fur that looks like a beast that jumps down and goes, My name is Beast. Yes, nigga, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Yeah, what is like, your actual name? Like, yo, nigga? like, why are you doing this right now? So anyway, she runs and she gets to uh, one of my other favorite parts is she walks into like this room <laughs> and is Gambit <laughs> fighting with Wolverine. Now, these niggas are supposed to be sparring, right? Like they're practicing. These niggas is like X-Men. And this, this is scene. how they like they go, they 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 supposed to spar and you know, keep your skills sharp, like we do in the danger room. These niggas are trying to they kill each other, bro. Each yo, other, literally. Yo, and then he gets on top of Gambit. And he starts his racism. I gotta let it slide a little bit. This nigga was born for he's been alive for like 15 years. What, what did he say? He was like, nigga? say oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> nigga hate the French, bro. <laughs> My boy hate the French. And I feel I was him. like, yo, why was that even I'm sorry? He's your teammate, bro. All the French people listening, <laughs> close your ears. <laughs> I agree with Wolverine. <laughs> the French hate. I, I too would also insult a French opponent. That nigga was going hard for no nah, reason. Son. Nah, it was like, not no reason. You my teammate, it's a reason. bro. <laughs> oh, but I can't get on Cyclops, though. Okay. 
No, I, I like I like gambling. The whole country. I like gambling, <laughs> but like I don't like the French. So it's a different situation there. So we could kill on your ops, like Wolverine. <laughs> said. We we can hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you got me. You ops. got me. You got me, <laughs> motherfucker. Anyway, so um, Storm basically kind of breaks down. Uh, to Jubilee with the X-Men are because it's like she bumped into Beast niggas she see these two niggas trying to kill each other like yo where the fuck am I so Storm being the old, one of the few rational people on this team was just like hey listen man you want to school for niggas just like you we get powers you know what I mean this is where we go we hone our skills and shit like you welcome to kick it with us you know what I mean like I can't promise them other niggas is as chill as me right. but you know what I mean we go shopping and shit like we be yeah looking. look at us we so, be outside you know, yeah we outside we chilling and shit Anyway, uh, you know, she found out that the the robots or whatever that's targeting her, she wants to go back and check on her family because it's like, yo, nigga, like, I woke up here, but I have, like, a mom and dad, nigga. Like, I still got to, even though they may not want me, like, I got to go ass. check on these I have niggas. a family, like, <laughs> and, they might be white, but, like, yeah, I like, got to go they... check on them. I love them. One of this is probably the best part of the entire episode for me because as a kid I did not notice this shit at, at all, but watching it as an adult is what makes it better. Yeah, she's running down the street like full speed, nigga, and then all of a sudden you just see like the feet of a sentinel <laughs> hiding <laughs> behind a tree, <laughs> and it zooms up, like, and the niggas behind the building. Hold like, on, hold on. Stinks, hold on. Huh? He's trying to hide behind the building, Bro. but he's taller than the, the building. building, son. <laughs> and I have a screenshot. I can't wait to share all of this shit. Yo, I was like, what like, type of whimsical, like, 1990, like, Looney the, Tunes, nigga? Shit was crazy. This I nigga was hot. She did not see this nigga, which made the shit funnier. So she's still running. Then all of a sudden, she, like, she's the first person to actually hear a sentinel. Because he, like, tries to do his light foot shit, and she turns around and sees this nigga. She's like, oh, nah. So she shoots at him, tries to run off. Another sentinel pops up. So it's two of these niggas. Oh, now it's two sentinels. And these niggas got special gas in their fucking Yo, fingers they and shit. And ga- gas fingers. <laughs> yeah, gas fingers Going and crazy. shit. They, they, and, like, they upgraded. Were, yeah, they upgraded. <laughs> niggas, every time they lost, they came back. They was like, we got to get some back. next shit. Run it back, nigga. Yo, what if we had gas fingers next time? <laughs> I, might, I think that might fuck them up. <laughs> they not ready for gas fingers, nigga. So she did, like, they do the gas fingers, knock her out or whatever, capture her. She's basically uh, MIA right now. Yeah. Meanwhile, Professor X, you know, because he found out about the the whole Sentinel shit that there's like a, a organization that has like all the fucking, um, uh, not even just the X-Men, but just mutants in general has like their real life locations and shit. And, and they're trying to hunt them. Yeah. And they're trying to like blow all this shit up to like protect the mutants, which I understand. It kind of, you know what it sounds like? Sounds like 23 and me, nigga. It literally sounds like that ass. <laughs> Niggas got all your we DNA. Got all your DNA and we sell yeah, it. To yeah, these nah, we got, nah, nah, we gotta get that shit out of here. So these niggas put their team together or whatever, which is cool. I get that. And um they you know they they devised the plan to get into the building. I think it was kind of funny how um uh, uh they tossed this nigga morph over. And Yo, as, as a kid, I've never really understood fully how his morphing shit works because it's like this nigga's morphing clothes, bro. Like that ass. How does that? Like how like... does that? Like unless which fucked me up when I sat and I thought about it. What if morph is always naked? What nigga? if he's butt ass but he, he morphs clothes? clothes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. I that's think he's insane, always butt ass, <laughs> but he can morph clothing. That but hold on, that's but hard, hold on, but it's nuts, bro. You can wear whatever you want. That's hard, but it's nah, nuts, bro. But like bro. you. Yo, Make it all the time. I can pull the meat out at any moment. <laughs> but I got jeans on. But, but I got jeans. It's meat but jeans, I nigga. I can pull the meat out at any moment. Just know that. And I, I won't do it. But, like, just know that I can whip it out. Like All I got to do is concentrate, easily. nigga. All I got to do is yo, concentrate. sometimes you might sneeze and yo, the meat might pop yo, out. Exactly. Yo, crazy. Look, I hope his shit don't work keep like it, that. Yo, if his nah, power is... Yet. He got to keep his mind focused <laughs> at all times, nigga. Because <laughs> he laughs too is hard. It, Nate? Naked? it might be a Nate. It might be a Nate. It that's, has to be a Nate. Ill, son. That's still that's, crazy. Like, that is an ill power. Son. Or is it like one of those things where we don't know yet, but it's like some... Forge or somebody made like the a bishop made like that tech 
I don't like, know. A bishop like, not there yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, like, I don't know, I man. It's just regular he's nigga just shit. Butt ass, he's just butt ass just all the time. And fit. that makes me like morph even more because he's a wild nigga because he be going out to battle butt ass. <laughs> but with a fit that with, he made his and, mind. And he, all, aside from the ability to transform, this nigga got like a little gas gun, nigga. So yeah. this nigga butt ass with a little gas oh, gun. Oh, shit. <laughs> he learned from son. the Sentinels. <laughs> he said, oh, gas fingers? I'm going to get a gas gun. <laughs> And that shit, yo, he be going crazy with the little gas yeah, he gun. Be gag- he be giggling and shit. This nigga like the Joker, he son. Weird, a weird... <laughs> yo, honestly, I see why they did what they did. But I ain't gonna say it. But I see why they did what they did. Because, like, he was a weird motherfucker. Yo. I remember being a kid and being like, this nigga's weird. Why Who he act this like this? weird nigga? That's a villain. But... <laughs> But it makes sense because, yo, like, a regular nigga not just going to be butt-ass like that. You got to be a little <laughs> off, my nigga. <laughs> you have to be a little off. Giggling and shit all the time. This nigga's naked. That's why he's so fucking happy, nigga. <laughs> this, <laughs> this nigga's crazy, son. So, yeah. So, <laughs> he, uh, uh, we, oh, we talked about this in a past episode. But we're going to get to that in one second. Yeah. So, uh... He jumps over, he gets thrown over the fence, he transforms mm-hmm. into the guard, he gets the rest of the team over, they get inside the building or whatever, and right before they go any further, Wolverine does the icon, well, at least iconic, iconic on this podcast, iconic. nigga. Iconic. On this podcast. Yo. Whoa! Whoa, nigga, whoa. <laughs> and they're like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> nigga. He's a lasers. Lasers, nigga. And lasers. Beaks asks him, like, nigga, you can <laughs> smell <laughs> the infrared spectrum? <laughs> Oh, he said, no, you can detect the infrared spectrum. <laughs> and he was like, he goes, I can smell Mel. it. And then he goes, oh, zone. <laughs> 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 they got that shit off on, on, as a kid, nigga. Cause... That was nuts. It didn't make any sense, but I loved it. <laughs> I still love it. I still like, love as it. an adult. That's like, great. It's even greater. Like, this now. nigga can smell light. I fuck with it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, literally it ends with them about to go into uh into the, to one of the doors with all the all the guards had the guns cocked on that door like waiting for these niggas to come in and the episode ends like that which for me as a kid even as an adult I thought that was a pretty good like they covered a lot in this episode they did a lot you know what I mean like and episode. and this was like 20 minutes bro like a typical uh cartoon episode like 20 25 minutes they got a lot done like jubilee nearly got captured twice that we got has. mad we we had a fight with gambit and wolverine Wolverine had a chance to be racist. <laughs> Stay, uh, Cyclops like, had time to be lame. Like, oh my God. mad shit happened in this episode, bro. And the bad like twenty was bad. Bad bitches was bad. You know what I mean? Like, we had mad shit happen in this episode. Jubilee Drip was immaculate. Immaculate, nigga. She got. He had the crazy yo, one-liners. Racism. Crazy. Like, racism. we had mad shit. <laughs> yo, we had. Niggas are signs to say mutants go home whole Yo, time. These niggas are from Earth. Earth from the whole time. They're nigga. from your fucking neighborhood, <laughs> nigga. They just have powers. Exactly. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> go home. If you say go home, they're gonna just live next door. Exactly. You still gonna be mad. You are gonna be pissed for no reason, son. Anyway, yeah. um, I, the nineties racism crazy pipeline was no. was pretty pretty which is, hilarious. Which is hilarious because that's how it is now. Because yeah. niggas be still talking like that now, and it's like, yo, this this is niggas home. That's like, where, where you want them to go? The and fuck? one thing I do enjoy when I have so far so far watching these episodes is the majority of the racism is literally white people. Yeah, like <laughs> I love that. All the crazy shit that be happening and being said in these episodes and all the signs. It is literally always white people, bro. Badass. Like, it is like, yo, wait, what? Y'all even racist against white people. Nigga, Cyclops is white as fuck, bro. Like, he is like literally like a, 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 a oh, if he did not have mutant powers, that nigga would have been a cop, bro. <laughs> yo, been a cop. Yes, been a cop, I would have probably been a cop. But relax, <laughs> dude. Or he might have been Star Lord. Who the fucking know? He'd have been a fucking cop. All right, episode two. Um, like I said, it ended with the guards on alert. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they knew niggas is in here. Uh, turn up, like get the get the laser guns and shit. <clears throat> These the 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 team basically they make it to where all the files are and they start like destroying shit because you yeah. know they trying to protect niggas, right? Um, I do think it was kind of funny, even though I understand it for like you know an episode is this is the '90s, bro. Don't confuse was working fast as fuck. 
that nigga beast typed in like one word and pulled yeah, up everybody's nah, file, yeah, nigga. He went you crazy. can't even get that shit to happen now <laughs> on a Mac, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? I was and like, he was m- moving on them uh, the green and black computers. Yo, exactly. They wasn't nigga. even using like and it wasn't even random, Windows. It was DOS. These niggas man, were using DOS Random prompts. new technology was popping up <laughs> after they would do that, and I was like, God damn, y'all niggas is real computer wizards. <laughs> what the hell? It's the real geek squad, my nigga. Yo. And like we saw uh, watching the episode and I brought up, it was just like, yo, these niggas are scared of mutants with powers. Meanwhile, in the 90s, y'all had laser guns? Nigga, like, what the hell what am I scared about? of niggas for, bro? Y'all like, have equivalent powers. <laughs> y'all also have like tanks and all types of... Y'all have fucking robots that apparently can sneak up what? on hundreds and thousands of people. Ooh, I'm like, scared of you. What are we worried about? <laughs> Actually, we got it. It actually looks like we're the bullies. Because, exactly. like, them niggas is running away from them Bro, robots. why are y'all going after mutants when they putting money into the economy? These niggas were shopping in the first episode, bro. Niggas was copping <laughs> up, not bothering nobody. Niggas trying to shop, bro. Yeah. That shit is crazy to me. Anyway, so, while all this shit is going on, um, uh, the, the team, they break out because they managed to destroy the computers or whatever. Um, Gambit opens a, a part of the fence for them, and everybody starts running out. This nigga Wolverine with short nigga Rage decides to pick a fight with one of the Sentinels. And then like three more of them niggas pull up and he still ain't pulling off. He's just like, yo, I'll just fight all you niggas. And Morph with the classic Morph line that I always remember as a kid. Wolverine, pull out! Yeah. Nigga dies, son. Like he got shot up. Morph, man. Real niggas, son. Ah! But in the moment, that's how you know Morph is really Wolverine's friend. Because these niggas clearly, based on how the cartoon has gone, they've been together for a while now. That ass. You know Wolverine can take a hit and he can heal, nigga. Why are you jumping in the way? I kept asking, like, why why is he doing that for Wolverine who can heal? He's the one person on the team that's good. But but, but that's his man too. Son. But that's his man. That's his man. And, and I'm gonna be real. It's instinct. So, yeah. It's instinct. Like we bro. we know more for a little crazy. <laughs> like we know he be butt ass with his fits on. <laughs> so like in his head, he was just like, no. And this is why you well, know, know. This is why you know Wolverine took it even harder because yo, you trying to tell me my butt naked man's. <laughs> Jumped in front of a beam for me, nigga. <laughs> and I can heal. And I'll be we not going to get back. What I'll the be, fuck? I'll be Are fucked up, son. Crazy? <laughs> Yo, Wolverine is Yo. such a real nigga. First of all, <laughs> out of my way, Gumbo is one of the best lines and crazy Yo, why did he slide off his tongue like this? Like, like, yo, he, he mad racist. Yo. <laughs> he just got them off the he hip. He just gotta was think going about crazy. Them, then we also get after, after Morph dies, right? Oh, the iconic punch. The iconic punch in the fucking He ain't say nothing to that nigga. He just said Cyclops. He turned around. <laughs> oh, nigga. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna use these, nigga. <laughs> Yo, but but realistic, I get it. Yo, my man just died. We not slotted for We him. not slotted? Yo, and then we get another iconic. Listen, uh, line. I just want y'all to know Yo. if I was a mutant, my nigga, I'm a nigga Colton jumped in front of me butt ass and took the bullet for me, nigga. We slotted. We <laughs> slotted. I'm calling up gas. <laughs> opposite. We slotted. Same nigga. way. Sliding immediately. We slotted, nigga. We but not leaving. We nigga. get another uh, iconic <laughs> line. I go where I want to go. And he uses that shit a lot. You know what I mean? Rain, he hits us for the first time. I go where I want to go. I do and what I I'm do, nigga. Go slide for my, my Yo, homie. this nigga cut the car. Like, nigga, tell him I left him a convertible, nigga. Yo, also oh, was- <laughs> a crazy thing to do. No funny shit. Like, I, like as much as I, as niggas might not like Cyclops, and, like, I was just very indifferent about Cyclops, <laughs> I was like, that's kind of a crazy thing to do to a nigga car. Like, that's kind of wild. Like, I get that you mad. I thought he was just going to, like, scratch the uh, side. Nigga said... I went crazy, son. The fucking top off said, tell him I gave him a convert. Nigga, I can't drive this. Say, yo, don't say my car's topless, nigga. 
say that, but titties is messy. And it literally was, nigga. Like, it was in a bad way, though. Yeah. I can't drive this. This is nah, dangerous. <laughs> it's mad dragon metal. They nigga. already they don't like, like mutants, nigga. You making it hot for me, shit. Fuck. Son. Now they can see that I'm some uh, uh, Cyclops Yo, wearing a freak. But the top with the top down, nigga, like you got shit looking crazy nigga for me. Bugging. So anyway, yeah, you know, he's fucked up about this shit. Like going crazy. Now I mean he goes to like uh cool off, ends up in a at a pool hall, obviously the 90s, an all-white pool hall, yes, nigga, is gonna lead to a fight. So these niggas ready to fight Wolverine until Cyclops shows up and he does the geek line again, like, oh, you're not gonna hit a guy in glasses, <laughs> would ya? <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> would ya? It's like, bro, like, why you got shades on at night? But okay, whatever. So they they felt like I felt and they like tried to knock the shit off. Shoots the beam out and they're like, yo, nah, put it back on, put bro. Back put on. It back on. Hold on, no, 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 no. You yeah, didn't you didn't give it the justice. It on, it, 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 here's how it started. It was like, <laughs> why you wearing them glasses? <laughs> He's like, you wouldn't take a glass glasses, huh? glasses. And they said, take them shits <laughs> off. And pull it up. He hits like crazy me. Oh, oh, oh put them back on. on. <laughs> <laughs> I love the '90s, man. Only the '90s things would get away with some shit like oh, that. Oh shit, that shit. And they funny. wouldn't be like Homelander getting fucking sizzled in half. Because honestly, nigga, like, yeah, it's not even a fucking what fair the fight. Fuck? The anyway. first nigga that would have pulled the glasses off with a guy's face melted nigga, off, nigga, off, nigga. And then it would have been like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't leave witnesses. So hey, yeah, hey. so. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, you know, he basically tossed the Wolverine. He's like, "Yo, bro, like, Please. you trying to slot? You trying to slot? Like, how you feel?" Because he was just like, "Yo, well, like Cyclops, my nigga, you are a fucking policiana, nigga. I do not want to talk to you right now. I was coming here just to blow some steam off." He's just like, "Listen, my nigga, like, we could slot on these niggas. Like, we found a base. Like, you with it or not?" And he was just like, "All right, bet." So we got the whole squad. And this is this is probably one of my favorite and probably earliest um examples of uh you and your niggas riding. Cause <laughs> these niggas pulled up on the Sentinels, nigga, and went crazy on these niggas. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Did you did you really explain how Cyclops gaslit Wolverine into like into like being part of the team again? Because I feel like that's a very essential part. Because I feel like after the nigga said, put your glasses back on, Wolverine was not with the shit at all. He was about to pull off on this nigga. And then Cyclops corny white gas white master ass lean on the car and go, I heard there was some sentinels, all right? <laughs> You want to possibly do something? Nigga, nigga, I don't know. I feel like we can slide on them right like we now. You know what I mean? Like, we got... Well, Ray was like, where is it at, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you predictable, violent fuck. I love you. Let's do oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it. these... This is, like I said, this is one of my earliest uh, introductions to seeing niggas slide, bro. Like, <laughs> the whole team pulled the up. Team they were like, yo, nah, y'all fuck with my nigga Morph and Beast, nigga. It's, nah, we sliding on y'all, nigga. And they went crazy, nigga. Do we like, talk about the one sentinel who got his arm chopped off and had to dip? That's how... All right. So, <laughs> leading up to the slide. Leading up to... Because he told... Cyclops basically told this nigga he had a plan. So, he goes to see um, Jubilee's parents. And he's, like, talking about it or whatever. Because he's trying to lure the sentinel out. So, the sentinel pulls up. And he's like, gotcha, bitch. So, he shoots the <laughs> nigga. The arm falls off. He's like, oh, I wasn't familiar with your game. I'm going back home. So, the sentinel pulls back up to his own crib. It's like, yo, I got to get repaired. I These the Yo, listen. Trask... Uh, Gyric, the the smoke bombs, the smoke fingers, these <laughs> yeah, niggas upgraded, nigga. They, they, he said, first of all, it was a weird motherfucker. He thought he was using gas. Yeah, like <laughs> we can't yeah, use yeah, gas. We no gotta, more. we gotta upgrade, nigga. This shit is not, this shit is not working. So he pulls back up to the crib. They're like, yo, follow this nigga, son. Follow yeah, this nigga. Follow, follow this nigga back nigga. to the crib. These niggas pull up in a hoopty. Niggas follow. Pull the glass down. Pull the pull the fucking passenger side. Save it. On some, on, some, That's on, some, That's on, some, on some Snoop on um, baby boy shit like what's up nigga like, yo tell uh tell Wolvie we know where they at man <laughs> these niggas went that whole they once they started playing the X-Men music I was like all right it's, it's quiet for these crazy. niggas <laughs> but then there's one part specifically that's please, a very please. 90s specific 
uh, Looney Tunes ass moment that happens in the show. Super whimsical. Where Rogue is going crazy. She's wilding. She's, she's beating the fuck out of Sentinels. <laughs> and then the one sneaky, I'm going to call him Sneaky Sentinel. And I, I, and in my head canon, it's been the Sentinel that's been sneaking, sneaking around this time. entire Lightfoot. time. Lightfoot, Lightfoot Sentinel. <laughs> that thing sneaks behind her Yo. and then bonks her, hits her with an almighty bonk. <laughs> and not only does she hit, the, she le- hits the floor, leaves a, a dust cloud, and has like an imprint, like a, a Looney Tunes character. This nigga gave the most influential dap of all <laughs> yeah. time, nigga. He... <laughs> Snap up and bonk the <laughs> fuck out of her. I'm not gonna lie, these niggas don't fly. Yo. So like he like literally slid in like a fucking Yo. ninja and then fucking bonked a shorty while being like, I don't know, if Rogue is six feet tall, this robot has to be like 30 something feet, <laughs> 30 feet tall, bro. Like it doesn't make any sense how a 30 foot tall robot can sneak behind you when it doesn't fly. And exactly up, like it was a crazy moment that I need Marvel Studios to bring back when they I, do that. I enjoyed that shit. shit. I enjoyed seeing uh, Wolverine when he was like, "This is for well, you, this Marvel. one's for you." Marvel. And then he start he stabbed the shit out of. I was like, "It's a robot, bro! Like it's it done after the first one." Like it was amazing. He stabbed it as it fell, nigga. He was on some John Wick shit. Like he, he just kept stabbing. Yo, wilding. Basically, the episode ends. Uh, they get uh, Jubilee back. You know what I mean, she gets a chance to say bye to her uh, foster parents because she's just like. Y'all niggas can't protect me like these niggas. So I'm rolling with these niggas from now on. So she pulls up to the X-Mansion or whatever. And, you know, uh, Cyclops has a moment. He does have a moment. A a slight, a a redeeming moment. He was just sitting there on the chair like, yo, you think I did the right thing? Now, I feel like Jean, she didn't say, yes, you did the right thing. She said you did the best you could. Because I'm pretty sure she was still pissed too. (laughs) She was... (laughs) She didn't make this nigga feel better because in the moment, you know what that shit reminds me of? Is when people apologize, but they don't really apologize. They're just like, yo, I'm sorry you feel that way. That's not an apology, nigga. Like, you didn't actually say you were sorry for what you did. <laughs> you just, you're just sorry I feel bad about for the thing that you did, nigga. You didn't apologize. So it's literally the same thing where she was just like, yo, you just did the best you could, bro. Like, that, that was all you had in you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but I do appreciate that he did, like, have a moment where it was like, damn, we should have probably slid at that time, shouldn't we? I don't know. Like, I did I did what I could. He just wanted some reassurance. Um, So, yeah, we get to episode three, and we're, like, with Beast. Because Beast is just that one good... You got that one honorable, super that honorable ass. nigga in the squad that's just like, yo, I know I could break out of here. I could literally break out of here if I really wanted to. But I'm going to go through trial, nigga. And it was just like, oh, beast, but why, bro? Nigga, like, uh, chilling on the wall again. On the ceiling Chill, again. Like, he was like, a ceiling, chilling ass nigga. Read an, like, al- and read an animal for him, nigga. Like, just, just in here chilling. Now, we finally get, because at this time, like, um, I, I, I'm trying to think back to me as a kid. This is probably my first introduction to uh, uh, Magneto. Because before even the comics, like, it was the cartoon for me. And... You find out that someone's trying to break this nigga Beast down, and Beast is like, come on, Wolverine. Like, I know you wilding right now. Better. Turns out it's not Wolverine, nigga. It At is all. The, you see this nigga pull up with the hands crossed, like M. Bison, nigga. Real, awesome, crazy shit. Ooh, he That's was just standing guy. there, and Beast was like, who the, who the who fuck is, is Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? This nigga's just like, yo, like, you trying to get out, nigga? He's, and I think he says something about Professor X, and that's how uh, 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 Magneto realized that he was gang. He was like, yo, you know, you know Xavier, nigga? And he was like, yeah, nigga, we ran on the base. We was the niggas that ran up on the base and protected mad people. That ass. And in that moment, I was like, that do sound kind of hard. And then Magneto flipped it again, was like, and they left you here, nigga? What the <laughs> hell? He said, what the... I was like, damn, he, he did get him. Did he pick you up? I was like, like damn. He, he was like, yo, y'all slid together, and this nigga left you? Shouldn't he have got you? Like, I don't yeah. know. I thought that was your man's. He let you rot in prison, my nigga? That's crazy. He, he back right. in the crib. He back in the crib right now. They make that one. these niggas drinking coffee, and you in prison, my nigga. And I was just like, damn, this nigga, he, he kind of cooking right now. <laughs> this nigga kind of cooking. So anyway, he, you know, he explains like, yeah, you know, I don't want the humans to fear us. So I figure if I go through like the 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 law and prove that I'm innocent or whatever, you know, they're going to have to respect it. He's like, nigga, 
You mean the niggas that's shooting at me right now while I'm standing here talking to you? Those are the niggas that you expecting to, to give you a fair trial, nigga? You're bugging out. You're bugging the fuck out, bro. <laughs> And he just he leaves the nigga because it's like yo I can't help you. Like, like, yeah, 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 you don't give a fuck. You, 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 you not on some extra. You not on some extra shit like me, me and my niggas. Well, yeah, you, shit. you, you bugging out right now, bro. Anyway, <clears throat> I did like um, uh, Magneto because he was kind of like working these niggas. He's going crazy, you know what I mean? And I, I, I thought in that moment, how lucky must you be to be the nigga that like grew into like having like uh magnetic type powers on a planet full of metal, nigga. You are like the yeah, luckiest that's, nigga that's alive, like, nigga. That's like very great luck. Yo, like of all the powers, you lucked up, nigga. That's like very great luck. You lucked up, son. Like I thought that shit was ill because it was just like, yo, it could have been, it could have literally been anything else. We could have been a planet of just plastic, nigga. You, you were the master of magnetism, and nobody cares, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nobody Imagine fucking the water cares, planet. Nigga. Yeah, so like just, nobody gives guy. a fuck, bro. Damn. Yeah, you know what? He won. Though. You lucked up. You lucked especially up, in this era. Yo, if he was a caveman, he might hey. have a little bit more problems. <laughs> you lucked the fuck up. So anyway, um, <laughs> Professor, a this is why I didn't like because um, uh, uh, Professor X started talking about Magneto, and he keeps calling this nigga Magnus. Yeah, now, like, bro, who listen, the fuck is that? I, I, I just want I, you know what it reminded me of? It's like when you know that one nigga in the hood, and his name is like Trigger Finger, Kill a Nigga, and somebody will call him Kirk, and, 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 somebody keep and Shorty keeps saying, Clarence. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yo, you know his name is Tr Trigger Finger Killer Nigga 2000, nigga. What are you talking about right now? You call this nigga Magneto now. Why do you keep calling him Magnus? Because that was my man. Yo, like, hell, I know nah, that nigga, nigga elementary school. I hate school. that one person that just got to show everybody that they know you from before, nigga. No, nigga. I'm not that nigga no I'm more, not nigga. Him. <laughs> you know who I am now, nigga. Nigga, nigga I'm Trigger Finger, about. nigga. Look, what you fucking, don't call me Clarence in front of people, I'm nigga. <laughs> so anyway, um... You know, like, you got to, like, and I felt like in that moment, it, it was just like, Magneto got to show you got to be, you was dis, like, you were being respectful the whole time, and you got to be disrespectful to show niggas you was being respectful the fucking whole time. So, this nigga starts wilding, you know what I mean? Um, Beast is on trial. You know, they're playing, they're playing around with Beast. They're just like, oh, yeah, you want to uh, say a few words? Please. Might as well. Like, they're, like, putting on, like, this whole show for this, and he's going along with the show. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Hey, yo, it's nah. like, yo, you way too smart also, to not know sarcasm, bro. <laughs> also, Beast had me dead because Beast is also the first nigga ever to represent himself, and I had 100% faith in him. <laughs> like, this is the first time I ever seen somebody go into court, be the, the overwhelming underdog, not favorite, be like, I'm going to represent myself. And I was just like, he going to get out this shit. That nigga finna, that nigga finna finesse out this bitch. This nigga that be doing nigga was chemicals reading, upstairs. That nigga was reading shit. Animal House on his head, on the fucking, and legs on the wall. Nigga like a three-year-old. If a three-year-old had that power, they would do that shit. That nigga's a genius. He's gonna uh, get out of this shit. bitch. Shit. I was, yeah, I was crying while watching that whole shit go up. Now, um, he finds out, like, I, I, I feel like he, he kind of had, like, a, a, and I know this is random, like, a Fresh Prince, um, uh, uh, Carlton moment when he found out that life isn't fair, like for real for black people. And as smart as this nigga Beast is, they were like, yeah, uh, you're still not getting bail. You're going to spend your time in prison. Sorry. You're a flight risk. We can't let you out. Which to me is stupid because this nigga has superpowers. He could have just broke out if he really wanted to. Like, he's a flight risk wherever he is. Like, he's fucking Beast. So anyway, he gets, the, they deny his bail, so he got to go back to prison. And when that happens, Sabretooth pulls up. You know what I mean? Wrecking shit. And I thought it was funny because these niggas hate mutants so much, but they took Sabretooth down, nigga. They shot that nigga the fuck up. <laughs> they lit that nigga up. <laughs> they lit him up. Yo, this nigga is usually a hater, but it was a bad moment. It was like, what the hell is going on? Is this... Is this is this fatal? I was like, I was like, wait, hold on, nigga. Like, <laughs> relax. They shot him the fuck up, bro. I was like, why y'all scared of these niggas? Y'all was using handguns in this yeah. nigga in court. Like, y'all shot this nigga the fuck up. So anyway, they send a uh, beast back to his shit, um, to his uh, cell or whatever. And, you know, they get saved. I don't know how Sabretooth managed to not get locked up, but this nigga went back to the X-Man shit somehow. Nah, I don't know how they... Like, you can't just disrupt court and get shot, and they don't, like, 
like force you into like nah. like this nigga got tank that back got the, he got the best lawyer yeah, like <laughs> yo can that lawyer help beast yo what the fuck man he got this yo, he like, nigga just, represent himself yo, like, in an overwhelming yo, court yeah, that's not like, fucking with this him this nigga literally just disrupted on, court man. like and got shot up and got Come off man, nigga like fuck. okay but anyway so he gets taken back to the X-Mansion um I thought that shit was hilarious the whole time and uh w- one of my favorite parts of this episode is literally Wolverine says nothing. This nigga literally goes to the room, pulls out the... He's literally about to kill this nigga in his sleep, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was like, yes, yeah. sir, it's fucking time Easy. to get rid of my eye. Yo, I feel him. Lay up. I like, feel him. He's like, this is a fucking <laughs> slam dunk, dude. Like, this is fucking Yo, easy. I'm about to like murder this nigga while he sleeps. Of course, Professor X uh, shows up like, nah, nigga, you can't be doing shit like that. Um... You can't be, like, assassinating niggas, like, on the X, like, we about peace, blah, 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 which is crazy to me, because you got a whole danger room where you train Yo, these niggas to be top-notch assassins and killers, but sure, peace, I got you. Anyway, um, this nigga Magneto uh, is on, like, the government um, <laughs> military base, he's, like, letting, like, missiles and shit he's fly, he's going crazy. Go, and what makes this shit even funnier was he targeted the missiles back to the same bases that they were coming <laughs> from. This nigga is devious, he's bro. Devious well. I'm fucking with him. Like, first time introduction to this nigga Magneto. I'm like, yo, this nigga Magnus is getting it done. Nigga. Yo, Magnus is doing yo, what he got to do, Trigger finger, man. nigga? I don't know about trigger that. My boy going, trigger finger is going crazy, I'm not going to call him that other name because that he don't he don't like that. He going so. crazy. I'm fucking with, I'm fucking with trigger finger, nigga. Out. He was going crazy. So, yeah, like, so he, he, he's going Going crazy at the base, you know what I mean? Going like letting the missiles go off. And um, we're like he's like mopping the flow with the X-Men because these niggas pull up. These niggas do nothing. Like he's it's throwing one, them into it's each one other on five. And shit. Like this like, nigga's going crazy on these niggas. He hitting them with shit. Going, he's just, he's just like using the magnum, yeah. he's the magnetism powers. Like these niggas got nothing for it. Like he literally just shot a magnetism beam at Rogue. Like yo, <laughs> yo she like, had I, metal on I her don't even get time. it. Like, like, I kind of don't that, get it. She just fell, and she nigga. said, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here with I don't like, know, but right. hey, he did it, I guess. Nigga, cool. All right. Like, you going crazy right now in your burgundy and purple. Um. So, yeah, this nigga's going. He's bugging the fuck out on these niggas. And Storm ready to self-sacrifice on some samurai shit. She was just like, yo, like, I know what I must do to stop. Because Mag- Magneto pulled off. He was like, yo. Y'all handle this. Peace. So these niggas, the missiles go off and she just like goes off to like try to stop them or whatever. And like Professor X is just like, nah, you know, like you're the only black person on a team, so you can't die. So here's like the schematics on the fucking missiles or whatever. And as a kid, this makes sense. Like, oh, wow. Like this is mad fly. Like she downloaded the schematics about the missiles. He downloaded it right into her brain and now she knows what to do. Nigga, in actual real time, all she did was use her wind and direct the missiles into the water, nigga. <laughs> Omega level mutant. You feel me? That's what the 90s look like, nigga. And then she shocked the missiles with her lightning. I was like, what did he download, nigga? Like, you just did what you would have probably did nah, by yourself, nah. nigga. I mean, yeah, she could have just did that. Like, normally she could have just did that. Like, if it was that easy. But, hey. <laughs> I was like, yo, what did Professor X really just waste your time doing, bro? Like, okay. But you dazzled me as a kid. I was, yeah, I was As like, a kid, I ate this fuck? up. I was like, oh, shit, she's wild, son. It's the 90s. 90s logic. Yo. <laughs> anyway, she passes out or whatever. Another thing I don't like is how, like, when she does her, like, super fly shit, like, her body's too weak to handle it and she passes out. <laughs> but whatever. Wolverine catches her. And um, you know they they head back to they head back to the base or whatever because you know like they managed to save the day, so <clears throat> the episode ends on that because you know like the the whole point was for them to stop the missile shit and they did, they took their losses and they got rid of Magneto for now so cool like that's a, you know what I'm saying that's a win yeah like, that's a W so you know the episode ends cool now I want uh, we kind of got through the 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 more heavy shit I just want to talk about episode four. Episode four. I I like I don't know what the episode names were because I wasn't paying attention, but I titled well, we episode four one. Professor G. Yeah. And the G is for gaslighter. And okay? I call this one Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> and both names tie in. So Professor X starts the episode off literally invading niggas' privacy because he's inside Sabretooth's mind. 
Like, yo, bro, I didn't even give you permission to do that. First of all, he was in a nigga head like, yo, first of all, you always been a loser, nigga. <laughs> like, but you could be our loser. Like, he just like, yo, make... like, yo, why are you so mad? Nigga, because racism, nigga. That's he said, why. He said, look, look at all these kids calling you a fucking <laughs> bitch and a pussy and a fucking weirdo. Well, why are you Ooh. mad? He said, you don't got to be mad at that. You can just work <laughs> with us. Like, and it'll be fine. Like, no, it won't, nigga. Bro. Yo, and then my favorite part is when Charles invades his body and then he's a weird amalgamation of like Charles and like <laughs> saber tooth con- connected but then saber tooth's like no get out of my head Charles and he jumps into a wall into like a fucking a, a, Rubik's, wall, a, a Rubik's cube Rubik's little wall. cement wall and I love it because yes get out of my head yeah, like bro what are you bitch. doing like you invaded mad privacy right now you didn't you breaking some sort of law nigga like you're not even supposed to be here right now I didn't even give you permission to do what you're doing right now like how you plan to rehabilitate who told you I need a rehabilitation, nigga? I'm good being... My name is Sabretooth, nigga. My name like, is Dead Sabretooth, gang. <laughs> what are you like, talking I'm about? I'm a fucking monster, nigga. You can't What stop are you me. fucking doing right now? So anyway, yeah, I wasn't feeling him doing that over-the-top uh, therapist shit. But again, gaslighting, because nigga does a lot of that in this episode. He's doing this, and Wolverine pulls up like, yo, why you got my ops here, nigga? Because in the last episode... When they, he, Cyclops was like, yo, they're going to kill him. He's just like, good, yeah, good, nigga. Good, let Fuck him that. die. And like, Wolf, like, you literally see Cyclops running off and he looks back at Wolverine. He's just like, and nigga, like, yeah, he's going to die. Like, it's fine. It's cool. I nigga. hate him. Like, <laughs> I actually hate this guy. So imagine seeing this nigga get shot up. You like, all right, one less nigga out in the street, nigga. Now, now you, you get got back to the crib. Yeah, you cool to now. You ready? Him? You ready to like knock back some brewskis, nigga? Y'all my trying to is dead. Root this nigga. And I see my op on the bed with the main homie of the X mansion, nigga. Yo, I what are you Wolverine talking about? Wolverine tries to son? walk out with the nigga with the bed Yo. rolling the nigga out. Like <laughs> they're I'm like gonna Wolverine. murder him. They're I'm like Wolverine. Walk you can't. Out you can't. Him. You can't do this. He's Wolverine. like, Yo, you why really can't. You can't do this. Like why? He's like, Yo, I've seen what this nigga can do, bro. Like you. Like, if you've been inside this nigga head, you know what he's capable that of, bro. Ass. You a Come piece on, of bro. Shit. You didn't even look at the shit what he did to me. Exactly. So you really on some whack shit you right want, now. Professor, Professor Gaslighter, nigga. Professor, Professor G, nigga. This nigga's going crazy. And then, to make the whole situation worse, he was like, yo, Wolverine, for the next part of his treatment, I kind of need you here. What? Nigga, what are you talking about right now? <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? What do you mean you need him? You need me to help rehabilitate he's him? Like, I'm nigga? not doing that. I'm not. He doing was that. like, "Yo, as long as he's here, nigga, I am out. Not nigga. I am not fucking with this I'm nigga. Going. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm These dipping. The weird ass niggas. This nigga Magnus is back to my nigga. Trigger kill. Trigger finger is Hold back up, to a, it again, put nigga. A, put a pin on the. I'm the. I'm fucking out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Yes, I'm yes, because that part is very important. I'm gone. I'm Put out. I'm it. leaving. He's gone. I'm leaving, nigga. Wolverine's like, fuck y'all. Y'all got my app. I'm stepping out. <laughs> Steps. Step, 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 step. I'm step. out, All nigga. Right, <laughs> so anyway, this nigga Magnus is back to trigger fingers. Back to it again, nigga. Like, y'all, I'm blowing on some shit. This nigga goes to a chemical, like, chemical plant. It starts just blowing shit up. No, hold on. Before going before crazy. we do that, before we do that, what's up? Let's talk about the journey of how we got to doing this episode because I think that's a funny story within itself. So there was a Twitter post, and this is why I call it Holocaust Beam. There's a Twitter post <laughs> where they're like, "What's some of the most fucked up things Professor X has ever done?" <laughs> And there happens to be a video where he wows out in Magnus's head, right? We're going to talk about it, yeah. We're going to talk about it. But I really wanted to look at that episode. I was chilling with Dennis, <laughs> and we was like, X197 about to pull up. We might as well rewatch it. But I was really just looking for that episode. So we was going through episodes, looking just for trying the to find suit shit. and the moment, like... <laughs> And him just saying, like, it was in a gas plant. I remember seeing the <laughs> gas plant scene, then going a little bit forward, seeing the suit, and being like, this we is got it. Him. We got we it. We got, got him. And then we was like, we might as well just we watch just the whole watch the whole shit. We gonna just so, yeah, watch the continue, whole fucking continue, shit. Continue, continue. So, yeah, yeah. So, this nigga's at the chemical plant full of just regular niggas blowing shit up, which is just an insane thought, by the way, because this everything in here is combustible, nigga. Oh, dear. It's literally like being in a room full of Power Ranger suits, nigga. Niggas bugging out. Like, it's just everything in here is volatile, nigga. So, this nigga starts blowing shit up, like 
people are just running out. Like they're literally in like the this is like a, a worst case scenario if you work in a chemical plant. Like you go to work every day, they give you like the the rule book and they tell you like worst case scenario is shit starts blowing yeah. up. Yeah. And it happens. They go it like it just starts <laughs> happening. And, 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 and I think the funny part about it is the nineties is like I was asking Dennis while he was watching. I was like, do you think those people could see those little squiggly <laughs> rays? <laughs> Or like it's just they just see something fucking up and then they run away. I feel because like they were seeing the fucking. It up also there. looked like they kind of seen the squiggly rays, but then they also seen the shit fucking up, so they ran away. But I'm just <laughs> like, because he hit, we were talking about early. He hit Rogue with the squiggly rays, and she was just like, ah, what the fuck? Yep. So I was thinking maybe it's like radiation, <laughs> but it don't make sense because exactly. he's magnetic. Exactly. So I don't know. It was it was nuts. All yeah. right, so yeah, so like he's blowing up the plant. He's just like, yo, where is Xavier, nigga? Tell that nigga to come see me, or I'm gonna keep fucking with these humans. And I mean, you sent your look, you sent your gang. Them niggas is pussy. I fucked all them. I packed them niggas up. Sent them niggas. Go, I sent them niggas back to you. I want to see you. I want to talk to the big homie. So this nigga sends the X Men show up again, and these niggas do everything and make it worse. First person to make it worse, you guessed it. Esta policia, nigga. Like, this nigga shoots a beam. He tried it in the last episode. It didn't work. He tried it again. He shot a beam at Magneto. This nigga does the magnetism shit. It bounces off. It hits another one of the shits in the chemical plant. More shit starts blowing. It's on fire now. This nigga packs everybody up. After he knocks all these niggas out, the, they're, they're, he, the one thing he didn't prepare for, because it kind of felt like between that episode and this episode, he was like, yo, I'm ready for this nigga, Charles. Like, <laughs> I got this nigga now. He like, thought, this nigga, is, easy, this nigga is crippled. You know what I mean? I already fucked his team up. So easy. when you put one and two together, nigga, like, I already could, I could take his squad and I could take him. This nigga can't walk. This nigga can't walk. His team is pussy. I got this. So was- I'm showing up by myself. I don't handle business by myself. It was crazy. Cool. Where's Charles, nigga? I fucked your team up again, nigga. Charles shows up. Listen, bro. It don't got to be like this, Chill. man. Magnus. Yeah, Remember, Clarence. I know your name. Clarence, listen. It Clarence, don't even got to be homies. like this, bro. We like, homies. we knew each other for years, bro. Don't like, care. it don't even got to be. He's just like, yo, he bro, said, yo, I don't care. Throw him, off the sh- throw him off the chair. And then goes, this is your last, Charles. <laughs> and he just said, <laughs> I wish if you if you have Patreon, nigga, you can see what we do, nigga. He said Holocaust. <laughs> see the Holocaust. See the Holocaust. See the Holocaust. You live through the Holocaust. Watch your parents die. Watch your parents die. Watch your parents die. Yo, I was like, what the fuck, yo? The one... I'm not gonna lie. Go ahead, go ahead. I remember seeing <laughs> that and like even watching it over. I was just like, yo, okay. There's multiple ways he probably could have capacitated Magneto in that situation. Bro. Let, okay, let's just say the 90s writing, 90s wrote, right? And then I just feel like that is such a crazy fucking maneuver. That is why he's the top gaslighter, nigga. Yeah. He, he took his he took the one thing, nigga. The one th- why would you show me my childhood? This is the shit that got me here now, nigga. Why would you show me that now? But why would I be chilled after that? Yeah, why do you like, think why? that? Like after you, you did have made that an on enemy me. for life now, nigga. Like, do you know what you just did? It's that is an insane, <laughs> nigga. That is as as much as I just talked about how crazy Magneto's powers are to be on Earth, nigga. To have a nigga that can, your power, you can literally just invoke trauma, nigga. <laughs> you That's t- fucking you, nuts. <laughs> you took all my worst childhood memories and pr- showed them to me on a projector and then left. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You just left me like that. Nigga. I don't like that. I don't like that. That don't nigga, make sense. That's like that's like yo. That's like you 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 get like superpowers and you in like Times Square wilding out and all of a sudden your therapist shows up. And reads off all of your trauma back to you, like yo, on a relax, paper. Nigga. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? Like, yo, I'm thinking even further. Charles could, and Charles be implanting memory. Charles look at you and be like, "You lived through slavery. Yo, was a slave, slavery, <laughs> slavery, slavery." I'd fucking hate that. Why would he do that to me? That's so. Evil. I thought she was peaceful. What the hell is I that? She's peaceful. Nigga. That's crazy. Living through, reliving through crazy trauma. Yo, that That's nigga, crazy. that nigga wilded out, that? son. That nigga really yeah. wilded out. That shit. That shit was that. Definitely, that was just like, all right, all right. And we only on episode four, bro. Like, all right, bro. That that alone kind of showed me like he already made crazy decisions and try to justify the shit. So anyway, before any of that happens, you know, we do see a couple moments where like 
Uh, other funny shit to me happened. Well, one of them not being funny is when uh, Storm kind of falls and like he shoots like the 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 magnetism beam or whatever, and it knocks the wall on her, and she kind of goes back to her claustrophobia or whatever, yeah. and she kind of like trips out, and Rogue is trying to save her. The funny one for me was Cyclops. Because this nigga shoots the beam at Cyclops and it knocks the poison, ga- the, the gas or whatever. And he starts to cough and he, he falls down or whatever. And in that very moment, I, in my mind, I'm thinking, Batman would never, nigga. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> as fucking much as niggas man. talk crazy about yeah, Batman, man. would fucking you would have never. have apparatus nigga. to just nigga. breathe, nigga. Fucking like... never. You're an alpha level mutant and some gas. You coughed, nigga. <laughs> You're the leader of this team. You cough. It don't got no time for coughing, nigga. Like, you don't got like your suit. You here, don't nigga. got like a fucking mask that you can just put on. See real now, quick. if you had shopped in the mall like the rest of the cool I'm niggas, <laughs> you'd have bought a fucking. You'd have bought all you needed was What's a go to uh, the tactical uh, gear. Yeah, session. like a, a a C95 mask, my nigga. Like, are you serious? An N95 would have got you crying. straight. I'm and that's niggas man's for real, son. That's niggas. Ma- that's niggas. This niggas really fuck with Cyclops you for really real, bro. Hate that nigga. For real. <laughs> you bought that gang. All right, man. Continue, <laughs> man. Anyway, so yeah, he does his uh fucked up trauma uh trauma beam or whatever, and then we get uh Senator Kelly is running for president, which Psychopath. clearly as 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 an adult, this is just not good. No this is just on some Trump shit. This niggas is like, yeah, you know, we going I'm gonna run for president. I'm gonna win. <laughs> And then we gonna handle this mutant situation by taking them to these rehabilitation centers because you know these niggas is fucked up. But nobody think chilling like everybody's been cooling the whole time. Clearly, he has nothing but slavery planned for these niggas. But whatever, all this shit is going on, and um, Sabretooth is you know he's still at the X Mansion or whatever. He's watching this shit with Jubilee. She don't want to see this shit. And he's just like, oh, yeah, you know, my wrist. You know what I mean? Like, wrist, 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 wrist. Like, uh, wrist like, hurt. yeah, uh, like, yo, yo, could hurt. you loosen this shit a little bit? She's a dumbass teen. You know what I mean? She she actually lets the shit open. She was like, oh, tend to your wounds. Listen, Professor X ain't tell you to do all that, bro. She He literally just told you to watch this killer, nigga, that showed up in the courtroom and was wilding. And all you got to do is watch. This is how you know Professor X is not a good leader, bro. Because that you, why are you leaving the child with to do the this? person who just joined the team to do this shit. to stay with the psychopath killer, bro. Anyway, she opens the shit. Zinger grabs her, and it was very uncomfortable watching this. Yeah. I was like, "Why are you grabbing her that tightly? You could have just hold the wrist, bro. Like you ain't have to like hug her. Like you was like the creepy uncle. He was on like, some sick was, shit. It was it was made me feel a little uncomfortable. Here's anyway, where we take the pin out of something pin? because guess who? Before you even say, let me lead it. Yeah. Before you even say, because he's like holding her, and he's like, "Oh, I can't wait to fuck this whole mansion up." Because he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna crush you if you don't free my other hand." Which to me, he could have just ripped the shit open with yeah. his claws or whatever. But you know, dramatics. Yeah. She opens the shit, and he's just like, "Ooh." Like, I'm I can't. I'm gonna tear up. this whole shit. I'm gonna kill you quick for letting me out. Good looks. And then I'm gonna tear this fucking base up, bro. Cause you thought that nigga getting in my head was gonna make was me gonna good. Make you nigga, part of the team. I like so killing, I don't, nigga. I fuck I'm, with killing. My name he is said, Sabretooth, nigga. Yeah, I made my man soft, by the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> so then he's just like, yo, as much as I like killing you and tearing this mansion up, the only thing, the only thing that could have made this shit better, nigga. Is I could have fucked that nigga Wolverine up too. And all you saw, nigga. <laughs> Mac, yo, he wasn't even that far. Nigga, he was there the whole far. time. Nigga, <laughs> I was watching behind the fucking computer. Because <laughs> as soon as he got that sent, he was like, watch. Be careful what you ask for. I was like, it was hilarious because they did there, the nigga. pan. And then you see Wolverine hiding behind the shit while mad shit was happening. I was like, yo, yo how did Professor X not know you were still I'm here? I'm crying bro? because <laughs> I just know when Wolverine said, I'm out of here. He said, no, I'm going to wait till y'all exactly. leave and I'm going to murder bro. Sabretooth. <laughs> but it was even better that Sabretooth did that yes. bullshit because he's like, yes. You open, yes, sir. It's murdering plan. time, nigga. All part like, of the plan. I'm about to tear this nigga up. So yeah, these niggas start fighting or whatever. And I do like in 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 the final moment where like Wolf, because he had the claws, he had Wolverine's claws on him, mm-hmm. and then he pushes the nigga off. He's just like, yo, you'll always be second best. And he started talking his shit now. He, talks he started. Crazy, he started. Man. He pulled his pants up, nigga. And he yeah. started talking that. He's like, yo, he but in this crazy. business, nigga. 
second best don't cut it. Yeah, he was about he was to talking, murk yeah. that nigga, son. <laughs> Meanwhile, all this shit is going on, and it was pissing me off because is this is one of my problems with a lot of shows. I'm giving this uh, grace because the '90s. You live in the X Mansion. You niggas got a a fucking. A stealth jet that, that comes out from underneath the ground. Where's your ADT home security system? What? Nigga? Y'all don't got do a security not, system? Y'all don't do got you motion not, sensors? Y'all have something going off like, yo, niggas is fighting in here, bro. Like, they y'all have a danger room bro, that can make holographic shit real. Bro, they came back from getting their ass beat by Magneto, and the first thing these niggas do is pull out some coffee. And you even hear Cyclops say, ah, this is good. It's like, yo, bro. <laughs> They I'm in care. the other room fighting for my life. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> Are you serious? Only Wolverine right now? cares, bro. And it's very obvious in this show that Wolverine's the nigga that cares the most out of everybody. What? It's very ridiculous, bro. So they pull up and they're like, "Yo, Wolverine again, bro? Again? Again?" And he's just like, "And Jubilee's like, yo, no, he was about to murder me. If this nigga didn't show up, like y'all had a dead kid, y'all had mashed it to explain. Yeah, y'all had this nigga. Dead this nigga, kid. Senator Kelly's about to be president. Y'all all going it to jail, been bro. Over, yeah. Y'all about no, to meet jail. Beast. It would have been over. Y'all about to go meet Beast, bro. Yo. So he gets distracted or whatever. Cause he's like, yo, Professor X, I told you this nigga's my op. Like, yeah. why? And then he gets cut. This nigga caught him yeah. with like the the sneaky slash. The sneak slash. Yeah. Know what I mean? And in that moment, I also got pissed again because one. It wasn't Jubilee's job to save Wolverine because, nigga, you just did a trauma Badass. beam on Magneto. You tell me you couldn't just fuck trauma up. Trauma beam this nigga? Hit this nigga with a childhood beam again. You was in his head in the first episode, nigga. Like, you... you a piece you, of shit. You don't know what was going... He's just like, Wolverine! What does that do, bro? Like, what does sticking your hand out do? You're not buffing the nigga. You not... Like, you're bro, not helping him with you his can't, powers. You stick your hand out, you're crippled. You, where are you? You're not going to get there, bro. You're not He's gonna not get doing there. anything though. He can use his mind, bro. He didn't. He, just he did nothing. You just watched him about to kill Wolverine until Jubilee shoots this nigga through the door and he runs off. And now you apologizing to Wolverine. Now you like, yeah, you actually you, you right. Was right. You yeah, was yeah, actually yeah, right. I, you do know him better than me. Because I also did tell you to kill my ops. Yeah, so I did tell I you to ride on mine. Kind of gaslight. And we kind of like nursed yours back to health. That was my fault. That was definitely my fault. I, I can see the fall in that. I, I can, can see, see where mistake. I went wrong in that ideal. My, I hope that my this bad. does you well. <laughs> I hope you hear this and you accept my apology. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, the episode ends with Sabretooth running off and Wolverine in bed with the I told you so while he heals. Yeah. After this nigga, Professor X, gaslit this nigga the whole episode. The whole fucking and Rode on his op, rode on his op and let Wolverine's op catch him slacking in his own crib. In his own crib, and what? it was fine. It and that's how the too. episode ended. So, like I said, as a kid, I ate all this shit up. As an adult, I, I ate it up again. Most nigga. Like, amazing this, shit. And this then is even great. as an adult, it's more this, whimsical this and great. it's more great. <laughs> exactly. Like, I like the '90s aspect of yes, it. Yes, but I it's like mad that. real. But like, it's also like a, a fucking Looney Tunes ass experience. Very much so. It's pretty dope though. I um, really enjoy. Yeah, it. like. I like I said, I'm not even gonna give it a rating because it's no it's rating, a classic. Yeah. It's, it's just, just fucking classic it's, it's TV, bro. Good. I I really it. enjoyed these episodes. Yes, honestly, we're gonna use really enjoyed or what the fuck was that? That's gonna yes, be like yes, the rating. Yes, like yes. I really enjoyed these. First I enjoyed four these. Episodes. This was this to like even it because it holds up. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. it's 2024, and I enjoy these. The pace. I didn't have a problem with the pacing. Like I said, I thought Mash should happen within That's these four episodes. Like Mash it got covered. In just four episodes, um, we had deaths. We have niggas in prison. Stakes, there was we have vengeance. Still in prison. I mean, we got gaslighting. We got mad shit happening in these episodes. We got Holocaust. Beams, yeah, we got mad shit crazy. going on. I mean, we got this nigga about Keep to be president. This nigga Magnus when his name's Magneto. <laughs> Yo, I am Trigger Finger, nigga. Like you know me in these streets, bro. And you need to start calling me Trigger Finger because I, I wonder up, what position I, I fucked up yeah. your team twice, I'm nigga. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what position B is gonna be in next when we see him. Yo. <laughs> Dead ass, like, like yo, and Beast the whole time can't even help y'all. Like that nigga's in prison, yeah. like reading poetry and shit. Like, hopefully when he represents himself a second time, he get out. <laughs> hopefully th- instead of reading Animal Farm, nigga, you should probably read, read some, some law books. books. <laughs> yeah, I key. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, that science shit don't translate into into court, nigga. Out. That boy bugging out, <laughs> especially when they got you dead to rights because you did everything they said you did. I'm crying. Like you really blew up a lab, nigga. <laughs> you really did the shit. So um yeah like honestly, uh it's it's just fun for me going back to rewatch these episodes because this was my childhood like this yeah, and like Spider Man like these were two like I can't you wait could to do not Spider Man oh my god 
Um, they uh, this you know uh, every Saturday waking up just to watch these shits, was right. loving this shit. Like I am such a huge fan Crossovers. of the X Men crossovers. Like just being a huge fan of the X Men and having that cartoon at the time was just a great Damn experience. Boy. And just being able to do it now as an adult and kind of have adult eyes and still appreciate you know the underlying themes that they were talking about, but still laugh at like the Sentinel hiding and shit like that. Fire. I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys are watching this. Uh, not not the, just the episode, because of course y'all watch the episode. <laughs> but I mean, like you know, um, just rewatch X Men itself, like the cartoon, uh, leading up to the 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 premiere of X Men ninety seven. Because honestly, it, it holds up. Like we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't lie to y'all. Like we've fact. come on here and slandered shit, and you know me. Like I'm I'm. Pfft. Fuck that nigga Cyclops. But, you know, he's still part of X-Men. He's still gang. He's just a corny nigga hey, in the man, gang. Leave him a little bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you got any final words before you wrap this? Um, Nah, not really. Oh, the Jubilee's drip. Always. She's exceptional. She wasn't a regular normal child. She's an exceptional child. Mm -hmm. Wolverine, I go where I gotta go. Amazing. Yes. Um... Yeah, Cyclops kind of corny, but he's also <laughs> a pretty good leader. He he uh when he makes mistakes, he realizes he makes mistakes and learns from them. Uh, Storm bad, Rogue bad. Uh, this nigga Gambit got a fucking a shiesty that's open that shows his face. He's this nigga think he lying though, though nigga, with pick. the chest out. Uh, Jean also has a shiesty that shows her face and her hair, which is she also got the some blue shiesty. She's yeah. different. Uh, fuck Charles. Uh, shout out my son Magnus, aka Trigger Fingers. You feel me? He go fucking crazy. Fuck Saber Two Five. I really, no. I really don't like that guy. Like, I really don't that like ass. that guy. He's that the fucking mad, worst. Unlikable, son. He's the fucking worst. But um, yeah. The, the, I guess those are all my words. Um, the only thing I gotta add to all that is the revelation it took me as an adult to to really come to the realization that this nigga Morphus naked. This yeah, nigga was really just ass. morphing clothes. Just butt ass. <laughs> just all the time, just morphing clothes. The minute he loses concentration, it's a real Dodge uncomfortable situation. Uncomfortable trying situation. To, trying to fucking get bullets for Wolverine. Yo, like, the whole time. So That's I, a psychopath. That, we love him. I, yeah, I fuck with him. Um, other than that, Wolverine just, it's hard not to love. It's hard not to love Wolverine. Wolverine. Hilarious. Like literally from episode one, it's impossible not to love Wolverine. Um. Magneto's just entrance, uh, introduction being mad fire. Like, I just fuck with that. No D. Um, we haven't really got to see too much of Jean. You know, she'll get her yeah, time. That's a um, I do feel like they did underplay how powerful Storm really is. Yeah, because that's a fucking that insane power to have. Aside from like controlling, like she's so weak, she can't control it. What nigga, do you mean? I can literally, I control all of weather, nigga. Like that is an insane amount of power. That's wild elements. What? Like that's fucking crazy. Um, other than that, yeah, like I am just a fan. And shout out to the Drip Lord, um, Jubilee. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like holding it down. Uh, I gotta, I gotta wear something yellow in one of these episodes just to hold her down. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, thank y'all for watching. As always, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans podcast, providing you with that high quality nerd commentary. If you're not a Patreon subscriber, like I said, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You get to see this episode. You get to see our faces. You know what I mean? But if you want more, you want these future episodes because we're going to be dishing them shits out, got to sign up for the Patreon, baby. Show it to That's the Gene Lannons here. You know what I mean? Um, I, won't, I, I won't throw the ads and all that because if you're on the Patreon, you already yeah. know where to find us. You know what I mean? We're on all social media sites as the Mighty Metas. Um, I'm on all social media sites as Old Dirty Dennis. That's O L D I R T Y D E N N I S. You know about my cards, Art by Dan on Etsy. You get my digital shit. You know what I mean? If you need cards today, right now, this second, you go to Digital by Dan. You know what I mean? Uh, check out the other podcast. It's a little bit more serious, but it's super short. You know what I mean? Secret Pods. We doing some super super serious shit on that, but at the same time, still having fun. Um, you can find my son Colton though. Colton Show underscore underscore Colton or True. the Colton Show on everywhere else, which is like Twitch, YouTube, mm -hmm. Instagram. He's streaming TikTok. Um, I also have my portfolio dot the Colton Show dot com. Pizza Burger, <laughs> which is my photography and videography. Hey, shit is crazy. And I also have the Colton Show dot com, which is my website. And uh, I heard from a little birdie tonight. DV and is rounding up the people and them talk to like a lot of to a lot of people them about a lot of uh going kind of he 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 getting the shit together a little anonymous things you know what i'm saying <laughs> so uh we getting the shit together yes sir 
Um, send us home, bro. Okay, the final quote is no, no, don't make me see. <laughs> Zambia, stop it, stop it. <laughs> and then shoots a beam at the wall and plots and outside leave, ways. Nigga. No matter how powerful you are, you're not more powerful Magneto. than trauma, nigga. You're not more powerful than the Holocaust <laughs> beam. Hi, Key. All right, y'all. Yo, we, we out. out.